Greetings! It's I, the Sexecutioner, Crown Prince of Perversity, Intergalactic Warrior, Master of Disaster, and the last thing that you will see in your worthless and soon to be ended life. I am the Sexecutioner. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm known as Chuck Varga, member of Guar, scum dog of the universe. Guar came out of some college art students who mixed together with some musicians, tried to make a movie, read too many comics, got in a lot of trouble, and then we put it all together, and for uh, fun, Every month or so, we would do a show at the local venue, and uh, we rather liked that, and we sort of abandoned our movie project, and it became all guar all the time. We, we were not taught how to make or, uh, these costumes. We didn't know anything about molding and casting, and we were very poor. Foam was the core component, and uh, so you, if you cut foam and you get a hot glue gun, you glue the foam, you paint it, it's kind of something, you know. And so that's, that was the earliest incarnation, I would say, is when hot glue and foam. And for a costume such as the Sexecutioner, there must be at least 20 different molded pieces that you see right here. And I'm a low-budget kind of guy. I go with plaster, plaster and latex, sometimes silicone. You're a thing. Things like that you need to know if you're going to go into Rubber Monster Land. Genius the most corrupt being on this planet. When I think back to that first Guar show, well, I'd say you'd uh, rather subdued by today's standards. We used about, oh, a pint of blood instead of 150 gallons, which we use today. The first time that I ever really got to witness bloodying somebody up on stage it took away a certain sort of psychic virginity for me. I was never the same. And they were never the same. They were like, oh, what is this? Hey, you can't do that. Oh, I'm all mad. I'm going to attack you. And they just got bloodier. And it was just a feedback loop that never ended. It, it started from a glorified squirt gun to a fire extinguisher. And then it became like high pressurized uh, tanks full of fluid. When we're supposed to be picking up chicks out in the audience, we have to clean off our costumes. We towel them off and we spritz them with the solution of, of bleach and water. It neutralizes the dye, it makes it sanitary, and then we lovingly pack it away in our costume boxes. You do learn to walk around like this and you're very clumsy. And so when you're on stage and you're interacting with somebody that that is bent on taking a punch at you or stealing your axe or something like that. And they've got a lot more, probably a lot more energy than you do and a lot more dexterity. And so what I would do, it, one of the routines would be, I would, I would take my axe and I'd wave it around and I'd chop at them and they grab it and they go, all right, I've got your axe now. I'm going to go with this thing. And that's when I was like, Really? You forgot about my foot. That is the kind of Bugs Bunny choreography that you devise around the psychology of the rock concert, which is pretty crazy. You, you got a lot, you got a lot of loud music, a lot of lights, everybody's running around. It's really hard for a person to be in the moment and be able to work these things out and not panic. The story of my life is follow your dream because that's what I did. I did not listen to what anybody told me. I went exactly the opposite direction. So you, hear, you heard it from me, keep it weird. <laughs>